his bio sheet to tell you how incredible he is. Bill graduated high school in 1966. He joined the Army in January of 67 for three years. After the Army, he got married, raised three children, and attended junior college uh, for two years learning how to run businesses. Bill decided to drive a truck to support his family and retired early to pursue a dream. So Bill spent three years in the early 2000s with a doctor of oriental medicine where he learned about alternative health. This is where he was able to learn most of what he knows today about alternative health. Bill spent an additional five years with a biochemist learning about heavy metals and toxins and how to get them out of your body. He also learned how they affect us. Bill is also a past commander of the Citrus Heights American Legion where he is able to give back helping vets and their families, the community and youth. Bill still serves currently in this role. Bill loves network marketing and is a student of personal growth. He has built, previously built a networking company to a high level and is currently educating people on their health. His opinion, which could be considered a second opinion, on how to live, love, and learn and leave a legacy as if you were going to die tomorrow. Okay, now I just want to add something in here to the introduction here. That speaks to Bill's credibility. Okay, so I really want you to pay attention and, and buy into something. I want you to open your minds to what you can learn. Okay, because this is something that happened to me, not in the health related, but it's something that altered my life. Okay, as a, as a, in high school, as a child, I was all about sports. And my entire life's mission was literally to play college baseball and go play for the Yankees. <clears throat> that was the only plan I had in my life, and I was good enough to do it. And I was top level. I was one of the top players in Sacramento, recruited by many schools. My big problem was <clears throat> I didn't like to go to class. Okay? <laughs> I was told all the time, Jim, you got to get your grades up. Jim, you got to get your grades up. Jim, you got to get your grades up. Oh, I'm good enough. I'm a stud. It ain't going to matter. Have you guys seen? I'm number one in batting. I'm number one in steals. I'm this, I'm that. I'm good. Jim, you got to get your grades up. Jim, you got to get your grades up. I heard that for four years. And I didn't really care. I didn't listen to the warning signs because I thought I had it covered. I was the exception until the day that I had a guy named Asa Buchanan. He fit every stereotype of what you think a college scout looks like. Guy sat down at my kitchen table and said, son, for every stud with a 2.5, I got 10 with a 3.5. Wow. This is 1987, not 1967, and we don't need you. Wow. I'll give you a partial scholarship. And my mom, because I was flaking out in school, she wasn't going to pay for the other part. So I ended up going to junior college to play ball and pursue my career. And my whole life path changed. Listen to the warning signs, especially when someone who's got credibility can share a message until that matters. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't move. Okay. Yeah! Oh, wow. Thank you, Jim. Beautiful. So, well, I just want to say it's uh, great to be here tonight. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Elias for inviting me. How many people have heard the radio interview? Elias, that's it. Okay, good. Well, we got all kinds of new information today. So, huh? We put the information out there. They have to click on it. They want to get to well, know the people uh, who move the business forward. What an archive. I have a... Uh, Facebook message from a guy in Canada that listened to it. So just to let you know, it does get out there. If you get a chance to do the interview, do it. I was uh, I was rather surprised at the interview. It was really good. I mean, Elias did a fantastic job. So thank you, Bill. What I'd like to talk to you about tonight is uh, my mission and why I do what I do. I know a lot of you in the room know who I am, but you don't know what makes me tick. And most of you really don't know me. I, uh, like the like Jim said, I graduated from high school. I went in the Army because I had no choice. Back then, they drafted everybody. And I didn't want to get in the line that said, you go to the Marines, you go to the Marines, you go to the Marines. I figured, I'm just going to go to the Army, you know? <laughs> So I did that, and I spent my three years in, and I got out. Um, went through life and became a truck driver. And I went to the doctor one time when I was about 47 years old, and he said, I was losing my strength. I unloaded milk trucks every day at the grocery stores and things like that. And 
it's getting hard. I couldn't hardly drag that milk anymore and unload those trucks. And he told me, Bill, welcome to old age. <laughs> I said, old age at 47 years old? So I started learning alternative health. So my goal, my mission in life is to reduce the needs for medication by 80% worldwide. So that means to help people get off drugs. That's pain medicine, head medicine, all those medicines. And we can do it by letting your food be your medicine. So I'm asking people to join me in that mission. Whether you're in my company or you have another alternative modality or anything that will put that mission forward. And I believe this is a we're able to accomplish it. I know I have 1,800 people around the world right now on this mission, and I'm looking to grow it. I'm looking to grow the U.S. market. Uh, I do it with supplementation and just good thinking. You know, we don't have stinking thinking. But what? How do you do this? How do you make choices in your life that are good? So I spent in the bio it said I spent three years with a doctor of oriental medicine. And during that time, we took 180 people that had less than three months to live, three to six months to live, in a study in San Dimas in a hospital, paid by the AMA. And the first week, seven people died. After that, just Dr. Guerrero is the doctor I was with. He, he had some juice going to Petri dish. He was eating a peach. And he saw what grew in that Petri dish. So when he did the autopsies, everybody, all the disease in these people had something in common that was growing in that Petri dish. So he added things and subtracted things, and we got to know which how to heal the body. So if you look, I'm another uh, big fan of Dr. Robert Young. Does anybody know Dr. Robert Young? Uh, well, he's actually, I think he's a little guy. <laughs> but he's, uh, he wrote the book, The PH Miracle. And what balances the body. And the reason I picked the 80% reduction in medications is because balance, pH in the body, when you eat, you need to eat 80% alkaline, 20% acid. So balance in the body is 80-20. Balance in the earth, in water, 80% water, 20% land. So you see this all over, everywhere. You're, uh, if you look at it, the sun is acid, the earth is up. So the sun's a long ways away and the earth is standing. So that's how we get that balance. And when you look at Dr. Young wrote a book that said, all disease is the same disease. It's in another part of your body and it gets a different name. So we look at an over of the blood tissue. So when we look at uh, the body and how it works, and we have blood flow, right? Blood flows are very important. So when the blood flows, you have what's called, you want to have, uh, high energy in that blood. The blood will take the nutrients into the cells and carry the waste out. So the, the most important thing to remember is one of the things where energy flows, where concentration goes, energy flows, and that's what growth. So if we focus on health, focus on, you know, just saying it every day, we can actually change the world if we can we can keep the, uh, you know, we can get people off medications. Medications are probably one of the things that are causing our health system to go down. I don't know what you're going to do with the new health care system when they call you up. Because most of the time, I hear that 20% of the people actually take their medications as prescribed. There's 2,500 heart attacks every day. Wow. So there's one every 23 to 24 seconds in the U.S. Just in the U.S. Stunning number, Bill. Huh? Stunning number. It's a stunning number. Yeah, it yeah. is a stunning number because we don't feel it. We don't know it's coming. And my father, another reason why I'm on this mission, my father died from 
a symptom that was masked by his medication and his doctor misdiagnosed him. So it's not so sad that he died. What's sad is my mother had to live 20, 25 years alone because she never got remarried. So she always hated living alone. So she spent all that time because a doctor misdiagnosed him and gave him some medicine that masked the symptoms. Medication will shut down functions in the body. So it shuts down, if you have pain and it shut down the nerve, it's telling your brain you got pain. So it cuts the systems off. So when you take, when you let your food be your medicine and you take a supplement to the doctor and he asks the doctor if you can take it, what you're doing is the opposite of what he's doing. He's shutting down your systems and we're putting them back. We're going to get them. We'll say the other day I had I wanted an adjustment for my chiropractor. So I went to this chiropractor that I knew downtown and he I wanted to adjust. He said we had an x-ray. So he x-rayed me. When I looked at my x-rays the next day, all my all my cartilage was hydrated, all my discs were looking great. I mean it just reversed. And I think, you know, I'm sure the reason why it did that is because of blood flow. Because I increased my blood flow, got more oxygen in, and we did it with nitric oxide. So I have a product that does that. But what, uh, what Dr. Barreau always used to say is, you know, everything is energy, and energy is everything. So in your body, you're electric. If you stick your finger in a socket, you get shocked, right? So everything needs frequency. You need energy in, in all your foods. Live foods have energy, which is green vegetables and fruit. Mainly vegetables. If I look at uh, fruit is a little bit acid. The farther away from the tree it gets, the more acidic it becomes. But if you want to reduce pain, have some green. Your inflammation went down. So you want to fight inflammation. And you learn pathway of disease, the only thing you can get is a virus, a bacteria, a fungus, or a mold, cancer of the mold. So now if you interrupt that pathway, you can interrupt any kind of disease you have. So if you have flowers sitting on the table, it just sits there, right? It doesn't do anything. You can leave it sit there forever. You add yeast and sugar to it, and make bread, and all of a sudden the top gets hard. That's called the mycotoxin that makes that top hard. Those mycotoxins will go around eating the paint off your car, oxidizing, that stuff in your body. It's called the mycotoxin. Then when the bread molds and all that, you, you know, it gets all yucky. So if you take one of those ingredients out, that bread's not going to do anything. So you can stop that in your body. All you do in the body is have, you know, that's the pathway from a virus to a fungus to a bacteria to a mold. So if you learn how to break that, so if you have an infection, we have a lot of anti antibiotic resistant uh, infections out there right now. I think uh, we're seeing that hospitals, you know, they just can't treat you, what are you going to do? You have to change the terrain, the inner terrain in your body. You have to oxygenate the blood. You have to alkalize. And this stuff can't live. When we, when we were out checking pHs on people, we had the average, we were, most of them were at 5.8. And we talked about, I had a product that helps bring the pH in the balance. And they had, the people we were testing, almost everybody was in 5.8. If you're in the threes and fours, you have cancer. So if, if uh, we we did, uh, we were able to raise their pHs and help them and balance pH in the body. I don't know how many people really know about pH, but it's very important. In the old days, the body used to adjust pH. But in today's world, I call it our toxic world, multi-color world, <laughs> you have things called heavy metals. Heavy metals get on the receptor sites of your cells and disrupt your cell. So we're seeing it in the autism rate increasing in the brain. Fat sequesters toxins in heavy metal. 
Uh, lead likes the bone. I've actually seen x-rays of people with lead on their bones, and you can actually see the lead. I mean, I mean that's unbelievable. And this wow. stuff is microscopic. Taken in and small. People say, where do I get lead? You know where you get lead? Unleaded gas. <laughs> Boy, that's an oxymoron, huh? Yeah. There's lead in unleaded gas. Cadmium will get on receptors, estrogen receptor sites and mask itself as estrogen. So the body will think it has estrogen when it has cancer. So lifestyle changes, so what we do, we can help you with your, your diet. In other words, your food choices. What we usually do is have you list everything you eat for two weeks. And then we substitute for it. We say, you know, instead of eating this, what if you added this? What if you changed this to that? So rather than walk in and say, don't eat everything, we want to just kind of substitute certain foods. And you go down through life, you take your weight off, you hit your magic spot, you just, you just go. I'm doing that right now, and it's working so well. I do go to the gym, but I don't exercise very much. I spend about 45 minutes to an hour, and usually I'm stretching and I do a few things. And I leave three days a week. But I just do it because I feel good, I'm adding on muscle, and then I can get my son, which has schizophrenia, give him a project. I'm his project. All right. And, so, Thank you. and he tells me what I got to work out then. And I actually believe that he tipped over on the scale in high school when he got his hepatitis shot. The well, vaccinations do have heavy metals in them. They have mercury. There is the marisol in them. It's in there as a preservative. Your flu shots. And I, you know, we hear the boli coming out now. I mean, you have to get your immune system. Even, even back when they had polio, most of the people that got the polio had bowel problems, had leaky gut syndrome, things like that, to get, to get the uh, polio. They were just running out and out until we got vaccination. We came out with a polio vaccination, the cancer rates went up. Antibiotics is a mole. Cancer is a mole. So if you get an infection in, in your body and they give you an antibiotic, you're taking a stronger mole, putting it in the blood to go kill a weaker. So once that mold is killed, now you have dead tissue there. You have to get that dead tissue out because now this new one, new guy that they put in there is going to feed on that dead tissue. And it's going to proliferate and grow. So if you are acid and you didn't put in a, a probiotic or you didn't alkalize, that new infection will come back in maybe six to eight weeks and you'll go to the doctor and he'll say, you'll say you got the same thing back. And he'll say, oh, i got to give you a stronger antibiotic. You know <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. My granddaughter had ear infections. And my daughter would take her in, they give her an antibiotic, six weeks, and give another ear infection. I said, well, let me give her this stuff. You know? I called it stuff because it's just better that way. <laughs> I said, it's stuff. Let me give her this stuff, and my daughter, oh, you're not going to make a research project out of her, you know, I said, no, the research is done, I ain't looking for a guinea pig, if it wasn't done, I wouldn't use it on her, you know, no, no, well, when she wasn't looking, of course, she was sneaking in there, they were going to put tubes in my granddaughter's ear, the wow. last thing I wanted was scar tissue in her ear, uh -huh. I dropped these little drops in her ear, and I did it like three times. And when she went to the doctor, the ear infection was gone, so they had put tubes in her. Christ God. Wow, nice. So, and I always see her come by and say, and she say, what is that, Papa? I said, it's Papa's water. Papa's water. <laughs> okay. So I just squirt it in and call it water. So she'd just tell her mom she had no water. Because <laughs> I didn't want her to tell, I didn't want to tell her where it really was. <laughs> So, I mean, it was safe. There wasn't anything drastic in it. The main thing is, remember, you only need a little push in the right direction. 
So one thing you need, one thing I look at supplements, I look at everything, and I, you know, ask people to join me, whether it's a personal trainer, a chiropractor, I have a chiropractor downtown that's, you know, pretty interested in us right now. <coughs> he had on the back of his card, in fact, I think I dropped it somewhere, I wanted to read on it, but he has 2,500 people, or 2,500, I can't remember that number. Are taking uh, medications, pain meds, without any medical condition. Wow. Huh. So here's here's the thing on meds. When you go to the doctor, you need to take charge of your own health care too. When you go to the doctor, he's going to write a prescription for you almost every time. And the reason they do that is if you go to the doctor and he doesn't, and he said, well, you know, you'll get better on your own or anything. You didn't, he didn't treat you. He can get in trouble. You could complain and say, hey, he didn't treat me. He didn't do anything. Well, they don't, most of the time they don't want to do anything. Some of the stuff. So they write you a prescription. And you could run those prescriptions up to, all the way up to the, to the hill. So we had a 50 year old is on an average of one to three medications. And they have one or more chronic conditions. Wow. So when they hit 60 years old, the average is six to eight medications and two or more chronic conditions. So if the medications work, wouldn't they have less chronic conditions and be on less medication when they were 60, not more? Right. So the story about my uh, father, you know, he had a hip replacement. He actually died from it. Infection. The infection went all up. If I would have known then what I know now, if I don't know now what I then, he'd probably still be alive. But I didn't know. So that's okay. But the the amount of medications people are on are just astronomical. I have a, a chiropractor in Roseville, Dr. Zorich. His average patient is on 16 minutes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? He goes out to Sun City and, you know, gets patients and puts on presentations. But even so, 16? Yeah. My wife had stage 4 breast cancer 10 years ago. And the doctor that my daughter went in to visit her and say she wanted to get a mammogram because her mother had had breast cancer. And the doctor says, well, that's not why we give them, but who's your mom? And she looked up at my wife's smile, and she said, wow, she's a medical miracle. Anybody with her condition never lives past four years. So my wife listened to me a little bit, not all the way. So when I say you get a little push in the right direction, she did take chemo. She did do radiation, but she didn't blister, and the doctor got mad at me because she didn't blister when she had radiation. You can, uh, the doctor actually said, well, she will blister and burn and point her finger at me. That's the last time I went in that office. <laughs> but, you know, breast you know, cancer is highly... Why that you highly, want that to happen? Huh? That, that's very uncomfortable. Why would you want that to happen? You well, react. because I couldn't, they didn't want to admit I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's against the law in the state of California for a doctor to recommend nutrition for cancer. Mm. It's against the law. They could lose crazy. their license. So when, you, when, uh, when somebody goes in, a cancer patient, where says, Doc, can I take this? He's going to say no. He can't recommend any nutritional product for cancer. Mm -hmm. Some of them said, well, you know, it isn't going to hurt you. Some of them will say, well, it won't hurt you. <laughs> it isn't going to help, but it won't hurt you. Some of them will do that. And some of them will flat say no. And, you know, a doctor doesn't... When you, when you look at what alternative health actually does, it puts the body back in shape. It puts it back doing what it's supposed to do. Doctors send it to that. We, 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 we're talking about regeneration. We're talking about bone mass going back, reversing osteoporosis. Regeneration is what we're talking about. We're talking about stem cell release in the body. You can do that with a three-day juice fast. You don't have to take anything special for it. They just had a study out and do a three-day juice fast in five days. 
and they're, they're releasing stem cells. There's a lady that could have been here tonight. We regrew, she regrew uh, cartilage back in her knee. And now, when I saw my discs, and I go, oh my goodness, and all the bones are good now, before they were ready to fuse together, because of the type of work I did, you know, I looked for us, and uh, I didn't know anything really about alternative health costs, 37 years old. Wow. So it's all about the inner terrain of the body, the environment. So when we talk about our internal health, we're trying to make environment. Make the environment good. Get it oxygenated. Get rid of heavy metals and toxins. Look at your food. When you see high fructose corn syrup in something, you need to know that's a toxin. You need to know that's going to harm your body. And 85% of us are sequesters. We sequest heavy metals in the fat. The fat stores acid. If you threw a body in acid, it'd eat everything but the fat. That's where your body sends acid. When it can't get rid of it, it can't neutralize it, it sends it to the fat cell. When I was in, uh, when I was a little boy, and I went down to the store to get an antacid that was rolled eggs and tops. You walk into the store today, you got 28 feet of antacid. <laughs> and prescription. He's right. So what does Nexium, the purple pill, do? <laughs> <laughs> it turns off the ability of your stomach to secrete acid, so it turns off its natural ability to put acid in. So a lot of people have bowel problems with it, it doesn't digest their food, they have all kinds of stuff wrong. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you those things. But that's just, just one thing they do. Of course, you, you guys know all about sugar, you know all about that stuff. But uh, your supplements, when you go down the road, the FDA went out and checked the supplements here last year. Eighty-five percent of them didn't meet label. So, Can you say that again. Eighty-five percent of the products on the, on the shelf in the stores did not meet the label. Wow. That's pretty powerful. So, what do you do? Number one, you need to know where your supplements are coming from. You need to know who's making them. You need to know what their quality control is, and it needs to be from a natural source. When I was with this doctor of Oriental Medicine, he had a he had a cure for allergies, and he was uh, ninety percent of the time at work in all his studies. He formulated this allergy thing, and the pharmaceutical companies were after him. They wanted it. They wanted to buy his formula from him, and he kept telling them no. And they said, why? Because you're going to reproduce it chemically. And they said, well, we can make anything exactly the same chemically. If you ask a chemist, they can make anything. Right? So, anyway, he sold it to them. And their result was only 16%. So they went back and sued him and said he left out an ingredient. Well, you guys chemically produced it. But you can't, the body does not recognize. The difference between a chemical and an all-natural product is frequency. Our bodies are electric. So all your cells in your body resonate at a certain frequency. So your ear cells are at one frequency, your nose cells at another frequency, and they're all suspended in water. So the cells that resonate at a certain frequency stay together, so it can't, it can't feed you, it can't do anything. So it goes in and shuts down systems. And drugs are made to work in a 7.4 pH environment. That's what drugs are made to work in. But yet when you go to the doctor, they never test your pH. They never check to see what your pH is. But all medications are designed to work in a 7.4 pH. So it determines how well a medication will work for you against the environment in your body. And I will tell you that I don't take any medications. I don't take aspirins, Tylenol, none of that. Tylenol is really, really, really bad. For how about me. when you get a headache, Bill? No, I don't get a headache. If I, if I get a headache... You never get a headache? If I get a headache, I take 
for arginine. I oxygenate. I get oxygen to the brain because if you cut oxygen off, you're going to get a headache. Even if you have migraines, if you get oxygen to the brain, you won't have any more migraines. They go away. There's no reason to have migraines. Usually it's oxygen deprivation. What causes that? Over acidification of the cell. The cell wall gets hard. Can't get the oxygen in. Can't get the waste out. Can't get the nutrients in or the waste out. So the cells swell and swell and swell. So you, it builds up what's called gray water. It's like your blood cells are a, like a fish in a fishbowl. If you never change the water, what's going to happen to the fish? Good <laughs> time. So if your cells are sitting in water and you don't change it, and if you can't get it in because that cell wall is hard or have fungus on it, you have to alkalize. You have to to get that out. To get more hydration. 70 to 80% of most of our health problems are just hydration. <coughs> That's why when I saw that my discs were hydrated again, I was really excited. You know, that to me was the best thing I've ever seen on the inside because I go through the life and I really don't feel that bad. I just don't feel that bad anymore. And I don't take a lot of supplements. I'll be honest with you, I take very few. Because blood flow is one of the most important things in your body to get that blood flowing and clean it, cleanse it. So it's not all fungus. If you have Somebody with diabetes, you're going to see the blood all clumped up and look at other. So you got to get that out. And the body will, you'll see an athlete working out, right? You'll see all these veins pop out of the skin. That's acid. That's lactic acid popping those out. It's getting away from the organs. The body's shoving away because it's acid. So your blood needs to be... A blood cell is 7.4 pH, the plasma is about 7.3. So when you have sticky blood, Ooh. you heard of sticky blood? Ooh. Syndrome X or something? You didn't even mention it on the radio show. I, 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 I this is the first time I heard about sticky, sticky blood. blood. <laughs> that's a syndrome. That's a, that's a sign of diabetes. I give blood at the blood bank all the time. Now they're coming after me for the plasma. But I'll go in there and somebody be given blood and I'll sit down and they'll put my hook me up and I'm finished before they are. Because the blood is flowing. It's not sticky. You've seen people that get their blood. Well, the sticky bad. blood to me sounds like a heart attack's about to happen. So if the blood's not flowing like water, then yeah. Yeah, I was with a cardiologist oh. that owns, uh, Dr. Siva, owns the Heart Institute in Victorville, California. He's out of Cedar Sinai. And he said that a cardiologist is nothing but a glorified plumber. <laughs> <laughs> because he has to get a certain amount of blood to all the organs in your body. Or they they go bad. So who can tell me how the heart is the one that takes the most blood? Who can tell me what's the second one that takes the most blood? Liver. 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 Brain? Anybody else? Brain? Liver or not, it's kidney. Oh. And I didn't know that. I guessed liver when we were asked. But when you look at the kidney, the kidney, we're looking at all this diabetes, dialysis. Our kids are coming up. Children born after the year 2000, over 50% of them have diabetes this year. So, <coughs> that's the prediction. 2014, over half our kids will have diabetes. The kidney is nothing but tiny little capillary blood vessels. You open those up, and a lot of things change. Now you can filter the water. So if your kidney's plugged up and filtering the water, guess who takes over? The liver takes over. So now the liver can't do its other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's busy. So that's why you need all your organs functioning and functioning properly. And you need to stay in balance, you know, work as hard as you can to stay in balance. I, uh, okay, so here's, here's what I'm doing. I, I want to ask people to join me in this quest, okay? I have, Wade and I do, uh, we do a business synergy worldwide. We have something else. 
So what I'd like to ask all of you to do, because it takes money to fund the cause, right? You've got to have money just to buy yourself a bunch of money from weight. So if you buy multivitamins, we have the purest, cleanest multivitamins on the planet. This is not me saying it. We test it. We test the one part in a trillion. Nobody else even tests it to that. That's one drop in 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. So there's no heavy metals, bacteria, or fungus in any of our products. We're all tested to that. The raw material. The one product we talk about with blood flow and, and uh, knocking out you know, heart disease and things like that. That one is tested 262 times before you get it. Just that one product. So, you know, we have uh, vitamin D3. We talk about D3 someday. D3 is so important. I would say almost everybody is short on D3. The darker your skin, the shorter, the, the bigger the deficiency. People that go into uh, the High Desert Heart Institute, they automatically give them D3 when they walk in the door. They just don't have, you know, they just, they're just low on D3. So they automatically give it and they test. I mean, that's crazy, huh? So most people, there is a big deficiency in vitamin D3. Wow. Huge. Of course, it, it, it is in the blood. But like I say, we have a we have a pretty full, pretty full supplement line. The heart, we have chlorophyll, greens, things that you can alkalize with, things that you can increase your blood flow and your energy levels, and they're clean. And you know, we have uh, Forbes named us the most trustworthy company in America, the top 100. We're the only direct selling company on the list. I'm sure glad they can trust the company on it. Yeah. And then, they just put our product in the physician's desk book reference, so if you did have to go to your doctor, it's in there. It has the greatest L-arginine formula in the world. That's how it's listed. Uh, Poland, I have a big group in Poland. <laughs> the government came out and gave them a word for the best supplement in Poland, recommended all their people take it, they gave them an award, they gave them a stamp that they send out on the product, and they recommended that every man and woman in the world take it. So if you have any questions, anybody have any questions? Hey Bill, why don't you mention your, your monthly event that you run with Wade and Super Oh Sites. yeah, yeah. Just the first Monday of every month, I do uh, talk on the products and company and things like that. We're doing a health, uh, Chantel is doing a healthy living wellness event with uh, music, bands, free food, samples, things downtown. Ann Ritter will be there. Oh! So she's here on the, uh, on the fitness side because we know that health is emotional, physical, and spiritual, right? And if you need that spiritual thing, we can fix you up. <laughs> We're at the Classy Hippie House, downtown Sacramento on D Street, so uh, we're going to be there and, and having a great time this Sunday from 11 to 5? 10 to 5. i got to be there waiting. So. <laughs> There's flyers here. Anybody, uh, I have a veterans picnic August 23rd. Citrus Heights is free for all veterans and their families. So I have a little postcard here if anybody wants to come. And if you want to know more about what I do, I've got a recorded call on this card and you can learn from there. Right? That way I don't have to do all the talking. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody for listening. If you have any questions, don't be here. you had to summarize all of this in one statement, well, if you tell everybody here, walk out this door, change your life forever, what one statement would you say? One thing we start eating. One, one thing, thing? Eat right now to take control. Eat your vegetables, just like your mama told you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Sunny, would you like to come on up here?